Hello guys, welcome to the next lecture on the CSR NET UGC examination. Today, I will explain to you how you can find the eigenvalues and their related problems of integral equation. I will explain all this lecture with the help of the fully shortcut tricks. You can simply follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of the CSR UGC NET and you can see the last lectures are on part 1 that is the Friedel equations. Then you can find the resolvent kernel of the Fredmol equation, resolvent kernel of the Volta equation, boundary value problem and many more lectures in this playlist. You can simply follow and subscribe my YouTube channel for finding the more updated videos in advance. So what is the objective of this is we will see how you can find the eigenvalues and the eigenfunctions of the Fredmol integral equation. So I will explain all these questions with the help of the CSR net gate and the NVHM questions with the help of fully shortcut tricks. This is the first objective of this lecture. The second objective is we will see how you can solve this integral equation and able to find whether it's a unique, no and infinitely many solution. So before I start directly to the questions, let me quickly recall you the concepts and the various shortcut tricks. I hope you can subscribe and like my videos here. Now I discretize this lecture into the two categories. First category is when the kernel is not separated form while k is my kernel. This is my kernel and second category is when the kernel is my separated form. What is the meaning of the separated? Look at that. This are the function of the x and y, x and t. These are the function of the x and t. So I call this is my k1 x comma t and this is my k2. That's why I call this is my separated form. In this case you can't you can never separate them. You can write ex into et. This is a function of the xt only. It is not be written as a plus or minus sign. Similarly, this is my type 1 when the kernel is not separated. Type 2, you can see in this case you can write as sin x cos of t plus cos x sin of t. So clearly say these are the two different functions. One is the function of the x and t. This is a function of the x and now, how you can find the eigenvalues, how you can find the eigenfunction when it is of this form, that is a not separated form. So your first target is to write this function into the form of k of x, k of t. What is the meaning of that? In this case, what is my kx? For the first example, e raised to power x. What is the function of that t? e raised to power minus t. In this case, this is a function of the x, this is a function of the t, this is a function of the x and this is the function of the t. Eigen function is always my k of x. Fine. How you can find the Eigen value? I can find the integration, whatever the limits you have, a to b, k of x comma x. That is a simple rule for you. The same concept I have explained to you in my last lecture related to this Fredmol equation. You must watch this lecture in order to understand this one. Whatever the value of this a you have obtained, eigen value is my 1 over a and eigen function is my k of x. That's a simple shortcut fix from my side to you. You can find the eigen value and the eigen function. For example, if you have this function, what is the eigen function is x. How you can find the a? You can see from a to b x of x. What is the x of x is? x cube. Now you can integrate them. Whatever the answer of this you will get this is the right answer of this problem. That is a 3 over b cube minus a. Second category. When you have find the resolve, when you find the kernel in the separated form. Fine. Then instead of this a, I can define this a. Because if you have the two matrix, then it is my 2 cross 2. Then the first value will be k x comma x k1 this is my k2 t comma t or you can simply remember this this is the function of since this is my 2 cross 2 this is my a11 a12 a21 a22 and this is the function of the x and t this is the function of the x and t so you can see this is the x x 1 1 means that's a k1 you can see this is a k1 x x this is the x this is the t this is the x this is the t this is my a 1 2 the first function is my k1 of x k2 of 
टी के टू ऑफ के टू ऑफ दिस इज द ए ऑफ टू वन फर्स्ट फंक्शन इज ऑलवेज फॉर द एक्स सेकेंड इज फॉर माई टी एंड दिस इज माई ए टू टू दिस इज माई एक्स बिकॉज द डायगनल एंट्री सो इट्स ऑलवेज माई हियर मेक श्योर दिस इज अ वन कंसेप्ट बिहाइंड दैट वेन एवर यू सब्सटीट्यूट दिस वैल्यू यू हैव टू सब्सटीट्यूट दिस इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्स बिकॉज वी हैव इंटीग्रेट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स सिमिलरली दिस वैल्यू यू हैव टू सब्सटीट्यूट इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्स फाइन नाउ इट इज अ सिमिलर ऑफ दिस देन हाउ यू कैन फाइंड द आइगन वैल्यूज वट एवर द आइगन वैल्यूज ऑफ द ए यू कैन टेक द रेसी प्रोकॉल ऑफ द आइगन वैल्यूज ऑफ ए नाउ इट्स अ टू क्रॉस टू यू कैन इजिली फाइंड द आइगन वैल्यूज ऑफ द ए फाइंड द रेसी प्रोकॉल ऑफ दिस यू गेट द आइगन वैल्यूज ऑफ दिस कर आइगन फंक्शंस आर लैमडा वन इज द आइगन वैल्यूज ऑफ दिस वी वन इज द आइगन वैक्टर्स वी वन एंड वी टू आर माई आइगन वैक्टर्स एंड के वन एक्स के वन एक्स द फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स फ्रॉम हियर के टू एक्स फंक्शन फ्रॉम दिस एक्स हियर नाउ यू कैन स्कैन एंड ज्वाइन माई व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड टू लर्न मैनी शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स सो लेट्स सी हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट इज माई कर्नल के ऑफ एक्स कॉमा टी इज ए ई ऑफ एक्स e of t clearly say this is my type 1 fine then what is the eigen function so you have to write the a limits are from my 0 to 1 k x comma x so can you integrate them what is the x comma x e of x e of x so e of x and e of x is e raised to power 2x so what is the integration of this this is e square minus 1 over 2 so therefore what is the eigen value eigen value is the reciprocal of this e square minus a and eigen function is k of x what is the kx this is my kx that's the answer of this question look at this another one what is my kernel k of x comma t is sin pi x cos pi t so clearly say this is my type 1 because there is only one so can you find integration from 0 to 1 kx x sin pi x cos pi x so how you can integrate them i can multiply 2 and divided by 2 so it is my sin 2 pi x i have used the formula of the sin of 2a so what is the integration of this it is half Minus cos two pi x divided by two pi from zero to one. One over four pi is outside. Minus is outside. Cos two pi one cos zero is here. So it is my zero. So once a is my zero, what is the eigen value? Eigen value is one over zero infinity. That means no eigen value. Fine. Once it's a no eigen value, so what is the eigen function? There is no eigen function. Clear? So once it's a no eigen value, eigen value is also called as the characteristics value. There is no characteristics value. It means there is no eigen function. Look at this another one. What is my k of x t? That is my two x. T minus four x square. So clearly say it is my type two. Fine, because this I can return as into one. So this is my k one x. This is my k one of t. This minus of this is my k two x. This is my k two t. So what is my a? i can write this is integration of k1 x comma x integration of 1 comma 2 1 and 2 fine this is 2 and 1 and this is k2 x comma x of dx now you can substitute this What is the integration of the k one? K one is my here. What is that? This x comma x is a two x square. What is the integration of zero to one? It's my x cube by three 
it is 2 by 3. What is the K1x? K1x is my 2x into K2t is my 1 of dx from 0 to 1. The answer is 1. K2x, K2x is my minus 4x square into K1 into K1t, K1t will be my x. You all have to return in terms of the x. So it's a 4x cube, 4x cube will be my minus 1. What is a k2? Is my minus 4x cube. Integration of this will be my minus 4 over 3. Fine. Now, now what is the remaining is? You have to find the eigenvalues of this matrix A. So can you find the eigenvalues of this? So that means lambda square. The trace, trace will be my minus 2 over 3. Fine. Plus determinant of this. So minus 8 over 9 minus minus plus so that is a plus 1 over 9 is 0 so that means 9 lambda square plus 6 lambda plus 1 is 0 lambda will be minus 1 over 3 and minus 1 over 3 fine so therefore eigenvalues is reciprocal of this minus 3 minus 3 are the eigens values of now, your target is to find the eigenfunction. So, what is the eigenfunction? You have to find the eigenvector. So, if this is my A, fine. So, can you find the eigenvalues, eigenfunction? So, first eigenfunction corresponding to minus 1 over 3 because this matrix has eigenvalue this. This is eigenvalues of this integral equation. Now, how you can find the eigenvalues? A minus lambda i of x is 0. So that means I have to subtract minus 1 by 3. So it's a 1, it's a 1, it's a minus 1, it's a minus 1 into x, y is my 0. So what is the eigenvalues of this? So clearly say x plus y is my 0. That means 1 and minus 1 are my eigenfunction corresponding to my uh, minus 1 over Three. fine so therefore so what are the what is the solution so therefore eigen function is eigenvalue eigenvalue is my minus 3 fine eigen function because these are the eigen function of this so you can take the reciprocal of this one uh, reciprocal of one is one over one and here into k1 x fine plus or because it says a single value so you can write here is first value for okay fine minus 1 1 plus eigenvalue 1 and second of the k2 x minus 4 x square so you can take minus 3 over common is a constant so 2 x minus 4 x square that's a proportional to this or 2 will be again common so eigen function will be x minus 2x square is the eigen function of the problem. Always remember try to find the eigenvalues and based on this eigenvalue find the eigen function and substitute this value as lambda 1. Lambda 1 is the eigenvalues of this. V1 if A and B are the eigen function of this then the eigen function of this will be 1 over A 1 over B. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Okay, what is the k? k of this will be my sin x plus t. So, I can open this one. This is my sin x cos of t plus cos of x and sin of t. Fine. Now, uh, before solving, let me give you the simple tips. Whenever this is a function of the sine of x plus t is from 0 to a for example fine or you can say it's from 0 to 2 pi or 0 to pi then the eigenvalues is half 1 over half of this 1 over half of this you can say plus minus plus minus half of this i can prove this one in the same way now can you let me know whether it's a type 1 or type 2? 
it is my type 2 so I have to write this matrix as here so what is that k1 this is my k1 so what is the k1 x comma x integration from 0 to 2 pi what is the integration of this by using the orthogonal property sin x and cos x sin x and cos x from 0 to 2 pi so what is the orthogonal property orthogonal property will be 0 what is the second is a12 so k1 x k2 t but you have to return this in terms of x k1 x that is sine of x k2 sine of x so that means sine square x from 0 to 2 pi what is the orthogonal property of this it's pi fine now since this function is my you can say this is my symmetric fine because k of x comma t is k of t comma x so this value is also symmetric otherwise you can find this this is my k2 and k1 so you can see what is the k2 x cos x what is the k1 x this is in terms of x is again a cos x so what is the integration of the cos square integration of the cos square is again from 0 to 2 pi is my pi fine the last one is k2 x comma x so k2 is my by using the orthogonal property it is my 0 fine now you have find this matrix can you find the eigenvalues of this so what is that it's a diagonal matrix but opposite sign so what are the eigenvalues plus minus square root of product fine so it is a plus minus pi so therefore eigenvalues of this given integral equation is reciprocal of that fine now i can write these eigenvalues at here so once you know the eigenvalues then your target is to find the eigen function so how you can find the eigen function this eigen value so now corresponding to 1 over sorry correspond eigen what is the eigen value of the a these are the eigen values of the a so at pi at x is equal to pi that is a lambda is equal to pi what is my a a minus lambda i a minus lambda i x y is 0 fine so what is that it is my minus pi pi 0 0 x y 0 so that means x plus y is my 0 so corresponding to this what is my eigen vector 1 minus 1 fine now second one is v2 which is the eigen values corresponding to lambda is minus pi fine or you can write it directly also because remember the eigen values are my distinct fine so therefore the eigen functions are orthogonal to each other fine so what the values of this you can choose this is a 1 comma 1 because you can see the dot product will be 0 fine or you can take 2 and 2 dot product is 0 anyhow I can find the eigen values eigen function corresponding to lambda is equal to minus pi so what is the eigen value co corresponding to lambda is equal to minus pi what is my matrix a minus of this so it will be my pi this is pi this is pi and this is pi of x comma y is my 0 fine so sorry this value I, I have to check it this value is my this is pi pi 0 0 by row reduce saturation form so it is my x plus y is equal to 0 so I have to check this value at pi corresponding to this it is my minus pi pi 0 0 of x y minus x plus y is 0 so this value is my pi 1 and 1 so this value will be 1 and minus 1 fine so eigenvectors are my here now once you know the eigenvectors what is the eigenfunction 
now you can easily find it so what is the function first eigen value is 1 over pi eigen vector is 1 1 kx what is the kx is sin x plus second eigen value is minus 1 over pi eigen value is 1 kx cos x so 1 over pi is common fine so you can see is a sin x minus cos x and sin x minus minus plus cos x because this is the constant so therefore functions are sin x minus cos x and sin x plus cos x this value is corresponding to the eigen value 1 over plus pi this is the corresponding to eigen value minus 1 over pi okay this one again this is the type 2 which is kt plus 1 over k here so this is the type 2 i can find the matrix here what is the k x comma x k1 from 1 to 2 that is the x square integration of the x square from 1 to 2 8 minus 1 over 3 7 over 3 k1 2 k1 x k2 of t k1 x here k2 x 1 over x that is a 1 so integration from 1 to 2 is 1 because this is is it a symmetric yes it's a symmetric so this is also the one what is a k 2 x comma x from so that is a 1 over x square integration of the 1 over x square is minus 1 over here so it is Minus half plus one, so that is one over two. So can you find the eigen value corresponding to this? So you can say it's a lambda square minus sum of them fourteen plus three seventeen plus seven over six minus one one over six. So you can find the eigen values. It is a six lambda square minus seventeen plus one is zero. so that will be minus b plus minus 289 minus 24 over 2 fine so you can see 17 plus minus 265 divided by 2 fine so these are the eigen values of this so therefore eigen values are 1 over so reciprocal of this 17 plus 265 and 17 minus 265 so you can use your calculator this value will be 16.63 and this value will be 0.360361 so since both the eigen values are my distinct fine so the eigen so the eigen function you can find it easily which are orthogonal to each other so you can find the one eigen function by taking the eigen values this oh sorry by taking the eigen value this and you can write as a minus lambda i okay this one what is my k k of x comma t is this is not a symmetric is it symmetric no because k of tx is not equal to k of x comma t so it means the diagonal values are not same so write the matrix a k 1 x comma x integration from 0 to 1 so that will be x of 3 by 2 find that will be 2 over 5 find that this, this value again this integration will be x of 3 by 2 so this is again minus 2 over what is the k1 x k2 of t what is the k1 x this is my k1 x into k2 of t that is a root of x that is a x so integration of this from 0 to 1 that is half k2 x k1 of t k2 x minus of x 
into k1 of t root of x so it is x raised to power 3 by 2 from 0 to 1 it's a minus 2 over 5 so you can substitute here this is k, uh, 2 1 k 2 x minus x sorry k 1 k 1 of t is a function of that t function of t is my here so it's a x square integration of the x square is 1 over 3 fine now you can find the eigenvalues so what is the eigenvalues of this lambda square trace 0 plus determinant minus 4 over 25 plus 1 over 6 so 150 no 180 is the LCM 26 into 5 is 150 is the LCM so minus 24 plus 25 1 over 150 fine so what is the eigenvalues eigenvalues are plus minus iota divided by root 150 so since it's a imaginary it has no real eigen values and hence it has no real eigens function okay look at this another one what is a k x comma t it's a 5 x t cube plus now if you look about that now there are the three functions so that means you have to write this matrix as 3 cross 3 but if you closely look about that I can write this function in terms of here 4 x square plus now you can see it is changes into the 2 cross 2 matrix fine now once you can find this so can you find the k again it is my type 2 fine what is my k 1 1 that is here 5 x 4 what is the integration of the 5 x 4 from minus 1 to 1 it will be my 2 what is the k k 2 so it is a 4 4 x cube plus 3 x square so what is the integration of this it will be this part will be 0 because odd function it is my 2 this is also 2 now k 1 x k 2 of t this is the x this is the t that is a 5 x square from minus 1 to plus 1 so 5 over 3 1 plus 1 so that is a 10 over 3 k 2 x k 1 t k 2 x second of x 4 x square 3 x k 1 of right always in terms of the x the first part will be 4 x raised to power 5 so this is the odd function so the answer will be 0 so it is a 3 x key power 4 so 3 x raised to power 5 over 5 so that will be my 6 over 5 fine now you have to write all these values can you find the eigenvalues of this so that will be lambda square trace plus determinant 4 minus 60 over 15 4 0 fine so the eigenvalues are my 0 and plus 4 so therefore this function has eigenvalues 1 over 0 is infinity so the eigenvalues is only 4 1 by 4 is the real eigenvalue now eigenvector corresponding to lambda is equal to 4 fine so eigen function a minus lambda i a minus lambda i here of x comma y is my 0 so my target is to make this value as a 0 so this 0 fine so how I can do that so I can take r2 plus 3 over 5 r1 so if you take 3 over 5 it is a 0 fine so therefore the equation will be minus 
टू एक्स प्लस टेन ओवर थ्री वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो एक्स विल बी फाइव ओवर थ्री वाई सो आइगन फंक्शन विल बी सो इफ यू टेक एक्स इज वन इट इज माई फाइव ओवर थ्री सो द आइगन फंक्शन इज आइगन वैल्यू बिकॉज इट्स ओनली वन सो फर्स्ट वैल्यू द रेसी प्रॉकल ऑफ दिस सो थ्री ओवर फाइव इंटू के वन k1 is 5 plus eigen value reciprocal of this 1 into k 4x square plus 3x so 1 over 4 is a common 3x will be cancelled out 1 over 4 is my common is a 3x and 3x 6x plus 4x square so if you multiply them the answer will be x square plus 3 over 2x is my eigen function corresponding to the eigen value 1 over 4 okay look at this another one k x comma t this is x t square plus x square t can you write the matrix a is a 2 cross 2 limits are 0 to 1 what is the integration of the k1 is a x q What is the integration of the zero to one? One over four. What is the k two? Integration of this is x cube. One over four. What is the integration of k one? X. K two of t. K one x. K two of x. Let's say x square. What is the integration from zero to one? One over three. What is the k two x? And k one of t, k two x, x square, k one, x square, that is x four. What is the integration from zero to one? One over five. So can you write the equation? So lambda square minus one over two into lambda plus it is one over sixteen minus one over fifteen. So minus one over sixteen. Into fifteen. That is minus one over two forty. Fine. So you can write this as two forty lambda square minus one twenty minus one is zero. So you can find the eigen values. It is one twenty plus minus two four four zero zero because twelve square is sorry one forty four minus minus plus. Ninety six zero divided by two into forty. So clearly, say you have you will get the distinct eigen values. So what are the eigen values of this? So eigen values are one over eigen reciprocal of this. Fine. So once you know the eigen value, you can get the in the decimal. Find the eigen vectors because they are the orthogonal. They are the distinct eigen values. So it means. the eigen functions are orthogonal to each other so once you know the eigen values one eigen function is a comma b you can find the second eigen function so that the dot product of them will be g uh, this is a similar of this now you can see that this is not a homogeneous fine but always remember whenever we are talking about the eigen values we always look about the kernel we don't bother about whatever the function is here this is used when you are finding the solution fine so again you can see it's a x t plus x square t square a now clearly say this is a symmetric fine so once is a symmetric these values are same so what is a k1 x comma x from 1 to minus 1 is a x square What is the integration from minus one to plus one? Is two by three. So this will be two divided by three. Similarly, k two, it is my four x four. So x four integration of the x four will be two over five. Then k one x k two of t k one x k two of t that is my x cube from one to minus one. Which is zero because of the odd function. Now, since the function is symmetric, so this value is also zero. Otherwise, 
you may find it k two x k one of t. So what is that? K two x k two x is my x square. This is my x. So the integration of this is again from minus one to plus one is zero. So what is the eigen values? Are two over three, two over five because these are the diagonal values. So therefore the eigen values of this given equations are three over two, five over two. Fine. Now how you can find the eigen functions when corresponding to this because they are my distinct. So it means the eigen functions are my orthogonal. So firstly, for this, what is the a minus lambda i zero 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 two over five minus two over three six minus ten minus four over fifteen x comma y is zero. So that means y is equal to zero. So therefore, eigen function is one zero. So there is no need to find the eigen function corresponding to two by five. Can you find the eigen function? Corresponding to this, which are orthogonal, zero comma one. So therefore, what is my eigen function? First eigen value into eigen function. The reciprocal of this is same into k one plus eigen function eigen value into reciprocal of k two x square. So you can see. Three by two or one by two is a common, is a proportional. So three x plus five x square is my eigen function. Or one by two again is a constant because we always normalize them. So eigen function is my here. Three x square, three x plus five x square is my eigen function. Okay, for what value of lambda? the solution does not exist we can find the again matrix a find the eigen value fine so what is my again k1 x i can return this is 1 into 1 so limits are my 0 to 1 1 k2 minus 3 x square from 0 to 1 minus 1 Fine. What is the k one x k two of t? K one x is my one. K two is my t. That is a x integration from zero to one half. Is it a symmetric? Yes. Is it a symmetric? So you can find it as k two into k one. So what is the k two x minus k one is one. So integration from zero to one is minus three by two. Fine. Now you can find the eigen values. Plus zero is a minus one plus three by four minus one by four. So it means it's a plus minus one over two. So therefore, eigen values. Of this are plus minus two. Now, for which case the solution does not exist? So solution does not exist when when this value of lambda, that is the eigen value, is greater than when absolute value of this is greater than of absolute value of here, that is greater than or equal to two. Okay. Now you can see about the CSR net quotient. Firstly, you can write in the simplified form. Phi of x is lambda times one to zero, three x minus two into t into phi of t. Now clearly say this is my k x comma t. Fine. Now characteristics number, characteristics number, characteristics number, characteristics number. That means they are talking about the eigen value so since it's only the single that is my type 1 so you can find the a that is a simple k x comma x 
from 0 to 1. So that is my 3x square minus 2x. What is the integration of this? 1 over 3, 3 over 3, that is a 1. Fine. Or you can say it's a x cube minus x square from 0 to 1. It's a 0. So therefore, eigenvalue will be 1 over reciprocal, which is that means no eigenvalue exists. That means no characteristics now. Okay, the value of lambda for which here, what is my kx comma t? This examination of the gate paper. Fine. Now, it's a type 2. Fine, because it is a separated form. It's a minus. So, I can return this 6x into 1 minus 1 into t. Fine. So, now I write the matrix A. K11. Integration from 0 to 1. What is the integration of this? That's a x square by 2. That's a 3x square. It's a 3. What is the integration of the k2? It's a 1 over minus 1 over 2. What is the k1x into k2 of t? k1x is 6x. k2t is my x. 6x square. Integration of the 0 to 1 is a 2x cube. That is my 2 k2x k1 of t what is the k2x is minus 1 k1x k1t is my 1 so integration of minus x what is the integration of this from is minus 1 fine now once you know this matrix can you find the eigenvalues that is the lambda square it is my 6 minus 1 5 over 3 5 over 2 and the determinant will be minus 3 over 2 plus 2 that is 1 over 2 so that means it is my 2 lambda square minus 5 lambda plus 1 is equal to 0 now can you find the roots but we need an equation fine so that's again a very simple what you can do because these are the okay always remember these are the eigen values of the a but we need the eigen values of this if ax square plus bx plus c is 0 is the equation and whose roots are my alpha and beta. Can you find the equation whose roots are 1 over alpha and 1 over beta? That's very simple. I can return as a cx square plus bx plus a. Fine. And we know lambda, what is the, what is the eigenvalues of this? 1 over reciprocal of this. So what is the characteristics equation of this? I can take the reciprocal of this. Fine. Now you can open this bracket and see which equation will be satisfied. Now you can see the first option. If you open this bracket, it is my 6 min plus 3 lambda square minus 2 minus 2 lambda minus lambda square is 0. Is it satisfied? Is it 2 lambda square is a 4 but we need a 5 so first option is cancel second one is 6 lambda plus 3 lambda square minus of 2 minus of lambda plus 2 is equal to 0 so we need a constant but constant eliminate look at this another one 6 lambda minus of 2 plus 3 lambda square minus lambda minus 4 of this so it will be 5 fine minus and minus 1 yes it is satisfied so this option is cancelled right option is c is my right answer okay the eigenvalues of this what i that gave you the tips whenever there is from 0 to a or you can say it's a 0 to 2 pi and the function of the sine x plus t eigenvalues are 1 over half of this 1 over half of this so 1 over half of this is b is my right answer or otherwise you can write it as a matrix otherwise you can simply remember this shortcut fix again 
this is here can you find the eigen value is a sine whether it's a sine or cosine the same rule will be applicable plus minus half of this make sure it, it should be the zero half of this is one over pi so then the two solution exist eigen values are two unique solution okay uh, they are the no solution unique solution so i have to explain the theory firstly for you so i will come back this question uh, after a few slides okay look at this another one uh, this is the cos so what are the eigen values plus minus half of this 1 over pi okay it is already given that then the integral again it's a unique solution no solution okay firstly i can tell you the tips whenever whenever this lambda is equal to this eigen value fine or not equal to eigen value then we will get as the unique solution whenever this eigen value is equal to this then either you have the no solution or infinitely many solution fine so look at that unique solution we need eigen values that means lambda is not equal to eigen value but you can see 1 over pi is the eigen value so it is not a unique solution unique solution when lambda is equal to minus 1 over pi minus 1 over pi is also the eigen value it is not a unique solution unique solution for lambda is equal to pi but pi you can see lambda is either of them it is not equal to eigen value yes it's a correct option no solution for lambda is equal to minus pi but we may have an infinite solution as well so it is not always that it's a no solution so we have to check it whether whether it's a no solution or uh, whether it's a no solution or it's a uh, whether it's a no solution or it's a uh, infinite many solution so we need to check it but it's a gate examination only the one correct option so that's why this is the right answer otherwise if you write as a matrix a corresponding to this fine so 0 0 pi and pi so when i take lambda is equal to minus pi we will see whether it's a unique uh, no solution or not what is the eigen values a minus lambda i it will be pi 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 what is the rank of this matrix rank is my one fine so once the rank is my one what can you say about that rank is one so we will get as the unique solution oh, moreover no solution is cancelled because lambda is not equal to eigen value is a not equal to minus y whenever they are equal then only it's a no solution and infinite but it is a not equal so it's a unique solution but he said no solution so the right answer is only c the right answer okay the eigen values of this what is my kernel x square into t so the eigen values are integration of x comma x from this so what is the integration of this is x cube from 0 to 1 so therefore eigen value is reciprocal of here so you can see how many seconds you are needed don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel okay what is my kernel k of xt is 2xt plus 4x square i can return as a 1 so what is my matrix a because they are talking about the eigen values so k x x integration from 0 to 1 so 2 x square what is the integration from the 0 to 1 2 by 3 what is the integration of the 4 x square 4 by 3 what is the k 1 x k 2 of t k 1 x k 2 t 1 from 0 to 1 it is my so it will be x square x square by 2 x square will be cancelled out it's a 1 it is my 1 and what is that k2 x into k1 of t what is the k2 is 4 x square k1 t is my x so it's a 4 x cube 
what is the integration of the 4x cube it is 1 fine now once you calculated this value can you find the eigenvalues so lambda square minus 2 lambda that is the sum of that ways and 8 over 9 minus 1 is a minus 1 over 9 that is 9 lambda square minus 18 minus 1 is 0 eigenvalues are minus b plus minus 18 square minus minus plus 4ab 4ac divided by here so clearly say you will get as distinct value fine so therefore what is the eigenvalues of this so eigenvalues are 1 over eigenvalues of this so they are also distinct fine so that means lambda 1 is not equal to and this is cancel out so once their eigenvalues are my distinct fine what is the meaning of that the prop the eigenfunctions are my orthogonal to each other and f1 and f2 are my eigenfunctions once they are orthogonal that means that dot product of them will be zero so the third option is the correct fourth option is the wrong option Again, it's a similar one. The kernel is given to you as xt plus 2x square. I can take it as a 1. And the limits are my 0 to 1. So can you write the matrix? The first one is this. x into x, x square. x square integration is 1 over 3. Integration of this will be 2x square. That is a 2 over 3. Then k1 x k2 t so k1 x is x k2 t is my 1 what is the integration from 0 to 1 is 1 over 2 and k2 x k1 of t what is the k2 x 2 x square k1 of t is my x so 2 x cube integration of that 2 x cube is 2 by 4 x 4 from 0 to 1 is 1 over 2 can you write the equation minus 1 lambda and plus 2 over 9 minus 1 over 4 so it is 8 minus 9 over 36 so minus 1 over 36 so it is minus 1 over 36 so I can take the LCM 36 minus lambda minus 1 is 0 so now my target is to find the eigenvalues the one way is I can find the eigenvalues of this and take the reciprocal or I can firstly take its it will be minus lambda square minus lambda plus 36 fine now what is the eigenvalues of this minus b plus minus minus b plus minus b square b square will be 1 minus minus plus 4 a into c divided by 2 uh, it is a 18 and something so it means there is some mistake can you find its values uh, x into t integration of 0 to 1 x square x square integration is 1 over 3 fine this value will be oh sorry if you take the 36 LCM it is my 36 it is my 36 fine so it is my 36 it is my 36 fine now you can take it so it is my 36 plus minus 36 i can take it as a common so that's a 6 inside is 1 b square minus 4 ac so my 1 plus 4 over 2 so that's a 18 plus minus 5 3 root 5 18 plus minus 6 root 10 how it is possible so again you can check your calculation 36 36 lambda minus 1 so b square let me let me write it again so it will be b square minus 36 plus 36 is 0 fine so minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac minus minus plus 4a into c divided by 2 so i can say 36 i can take 36 common so that's a 6 36 plus 4 
36 plus 4 is 40 divided by 2. Now you can see that. So it will be 18 plus minus 3 root 40. So now since it's a plus minus of over 2a, a is my minus 1. So it is a minus 18 minus plus. So minus 18 and it's a 36. Here is the wrong. A is the correct answer. Again, these eigenvalues are my distinct. Fine. So once they are the distinct, it means the eigenfunctions are my orthogonal to each other. So the dot product is a 0. So A and D are my correct answers. Okay. Again, now you can see about again this one. So kernel I can return as sin x. I can return this as a t plus cos x sin of t. Can you find the eigenvalues directly? Because it's a pi, it's a 0. So eigenfunctions, eigenvalues are 1 over half of this. Half of this is my here. That is plus minus 2 over pi. Fine. So the eigenvalues are half over this number. Now, if you write the matrix A, because now I need to find the eigen function. Again, they are my distinct. So the orthogonal properties, the eigen functions are my dot product should be 0. So clearly say, if you think about here, these are my same. Fine. If they are same, is are they orthogonal? No. So that means if A is my correct, then C will be wrong. If C is correct, then A will be wrong. Fine, because they are distinct and eigenfunctions are orthogonal. Okay. Now K11. By the orthogonal property, this will be 0. By the orthogonal property, this will be 0. Because eigenvalues are my pi by 2. So it will be sine and sine square. It is my here and this is of this. Now corresponding to the eigenvalues 2 over pi. That means pi over 2. What is the eigenvalues of this? Plus minus root of product pi square by 4 plus minus pi over 2. Now first I can take it as a positive pi by 2. That means I consider this case and this case. What is the eigenvalues? Eigenfunction a minus lambda i, a minus lambda i, a minus lambda i and a minus lambda i. x comma y is my 0. So clearly say this x plus pi over 2 y is equal to 0. That means x is equal to y. So the eigenfunctions are what is the k1x is sin x, k2 is my here. That means lambda 1 into 1 1 of sin x. Now since they are orthogonal to each other, so the other eigenfunctions are can you take the other either eigenfunction? 1 and minus 1. Fine. So 1 and minus 1. It will be cos of x. So what are the eigenfunctions? It's a sin x plus cos x and sin x minus cos x. So the one eigenvalue is sin x plus cos x other value is sin x minus nice uh, when second value is minus 2 by pi so it is a you can see it's a 1 and 1 so whenever it's a positive the eigenvalues are 1 and 1 positive and positive both are positive but he is a negative so this option cancel other eigenfunctions are 1 and minus 1 fine so that means they are opposite signs so they are opposite signs so that means they are correct and this is wrong so c d are my right Okay, look at this one. This is uh, June. Can you find the eigenvalues? It is my plus minus half of this. 1 over pi. It's a cos. Can you find the eigenvalues? Mu i's. Eigenvalues are plus minus half of this. So it is my 2 over pi. Now, lambda 1 is less than of lambda 2. So lambda 1 will be my minus 1 over pi. Lambda 2 will be 1 over pi. Mu 1 will be 
minus 2 over pi because again it satisfied this property mu 2 will be plus 2 over pi now you can see how many second you are needed to solve this if you watch my this lecture simplify now you can see mu 1 is less than lambda 1 is it true mu 1 mu 1 is less than lambda 1 lambda 1 is less than of this and this is less than of here so that means this option is cancelled this option is correct option mu 1 minus lambda 1 absolute value what is the mu 1 minus lambda 1 absolute values 1 over pi what is the mu 2 minus lambda 2 absolute value if you take the difference it is a 1 over pi that means both are same so first and third are my correct answer. and you can see how many second you are needed to solve this question once you remember my this shortcut trick now once you are identifying the system of the equations that means once you are identifying how you can write the a then the second category is how you can identify whether it's a unique no or infinite many solution so again you can convert this into the ax is equal to b where a is the similar way you can return in the previous one while b is my k into ft fine k is my kernel function of the t only f is my here then whenever lambda is not equal to that means whenever this value is not equal to eigenvalues of the a of this system then it's a unique solution whenever they are equal then we have the no or infinite when it will be the no solution or infinite you can calculate this value b if b will be zero then we have infinite many solution and otherwise we have the no solution that's a simple trick for you for example here what is my k x comma t you can see no solution always find the matrix a firstly find the eigenvalue always it is cos square x i can return as 1 what is that from 0 to pi cos square x so by the orthogonal property it will be my pi over 2 so therefore eigenvalue will be reciprocal of this 2 over pi fine so once eigenvalue is this now which is equal to what is that this is my lambda fine if you compare them it is my lambda and once eigenvalue is equal to lambda then it means either you have the no solution or infinite many solutions so unique solution will be cancelled out more than one but finite this is cancelled out fine so you need to calculate the b that is a k of t into f of t so what is the k of t that is a function of the t one what is the f one integration from 0 to pi answer is pi non-zero once is a non-zero you have the no solution you can see once is a non-zero you have the no solution okay look at this one this is my kernel this is my fx whether lambda is exist or not so firstly find this a find so what is that orthogonal you can use the orthogonal property that is my cos square x first value 0 to pi so answer is pi by 2 fine now this value is this number is a 2 minus 2 sin square x from 0 to pi is this answer is pi by 2 fine and minus 2 will be cancelled out is a minus pi then k1x k2 of t k1x will be cos x k2t will be sin of t by the orthogonal property it is my 0 similarly k2x k1 of t k2x will be my k2x minus 2 sin x k1t will be cos of t again by the orthogonal property it is my 0 so what is the eigenvalues eigenvalues are pi over 2 minus pi these are the eigenvalues of the a so the system the given integral equation has eigenvalue 
टू ओवर पाई एंड माइनस वन ओवर पाई फाइन ना लुक एट द ऑप्शन फॉर एवरी वैल्यू ऑफ लैमडा द सोल्यूशन एग्जिस्ट एग्जिस्ट फाइन ना यू हैव द टू केसेस वेदर लैमडा इज इक्वल टू आइगन वैल्यूज और इट इज नॉट इक्वल टू दिस फाइन इफ दिस इज नॉट इक्वल टू वेन लैमडा इज नॉट इक्वल टू टू ओवर पाई एंड माइनस वन ओवर पाई देन यू विल गेट एज अ यूनिक सोल्यूशन फाइन वेन लैमडा इज इक्वल टू दिस देन यू हैव दी नो सोल्यूशन और इन्फानेट सोल्यूशन सो लेट मी कैलकुलेट द बी दैट इज के ऑफ टी एंड एफ ऑफ टी इन दिस एग्जाम्पल यू हैव द टू के ऑफ टी वन कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू दिस कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू सो यू हैव दी टू वैल्यूज ऑफ द बी सो फर्स्ट वैल्यू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ के कॉस ऑफ टी एंड कॉस ऑफ सेवेंटी बाई यूजिंग द ऑर्थोगनल प्रॉपर्टी दिस नंबर विल बी जीरो द फर्स्ट वैल्यू इज माई जीरो फॉर द सेकेंड केस इट इज माई साइन ऑफ टी एंड कॉस ऑफ सेवेंटी अगेन बाई ऑर्थोगनल प्रॉपर्टी दिस इज माई जीरो सो वंस दे आर जीरो द बी वैल्यू विल बी जीरो दैट मीन्स यू विल गिट गेट एज infinitely many solutions so this number will be so either of the cases you will get as a solution so for every values lambda exists so solution exists there exists lambda such that solution does not exist that means no solution but we will get as always either the unique solution or infinite solution there exists lambda such that there are more than one but finitely many solutions can you think about that but we will get as a infinitely many solutions fine so we will get as infinitely many solution but more than one there are the two cases when lambda is equal to this or this then we will get as a unique solution then we will get as infinite many solution when lambda is not equal to this then we will get as a unique solution but we will never get a finitely many solution so the right answers are a and d are the correct answers Okay, look at this one. It is given that it has infinitely many solutions. Fine. Okay, can you find the eigen values? Because it's a cosine, so it is my one over half of the reciprocal. That means plus minus two over pi. Fine. So you can write this equation in the standard form. Firstly, this is f x plus two over pi zero to this. cos x plus t phi of t fine what is your kernel i can open this is cos x cos of t minus sin x sin of t now for the infinitely many solution what you need it is b should be zero fine what is my b k of t into एफ टी एंड फॉर द सेकेंड केस साइन ऑफ टी इंटू एफ ऑफ टी आई नीड आई कैन चूज एफ इन सच अ वे दैट दिस वैल्यू शुड बी जीरो दैट्स द क्वेश्चन फाइन नाउ हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन यू कैन सी दैट इफ यू लुक अबाउट द ऑप्शन फर्स्टली आई कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस इफ आई टेक साइन थ्री एक्स If I take f of t sine three t, that means cos of t sine of three t. By using the orthogonal property, this number is zero. If I substitute here as a sine of three t, again by the orthogonal property is zero. So that means b should be zero for here. That means this option is the correct option. Look at this one. If you take sine x, fine. Then this value will be zero definitely because by the orthogonal property. This is not zero. Fine. If you take cos of three x, this cos t and cos three t will be zero. Sine and cos three is zero by the orthogonal property. Cos this will not be zero. This will be zero. So it means we need to check first and third carefully. Can you write the matrix A? Now we know the eigen values are my. Plus minus two over pi of this. What is the eigen value of the a? It is my plus minus of this. 
so by the orthogonal property you can see this value will be what is the answer of this cos square cos square will be pi over 2 this is pi over 2 0 and g is a negative fine so the eigen values are my here so eigen values of this now corresponding to this okay what is the b for the first case what is the lambda in in this case lambda is my plus 2 over pi so can you find the eigen value eigen function what is the eigen function now for this case what is the eigen value pi by 2 because the eigen value of the a is my pi by 2 so this is 0 0 0 minus pi fine into x y which is equal to integration of cos of t into f of t and this is my second one is sin of t into f of t fine now when this system has the infinitely many solution when rank of a in this case is my one it must be equal to the rank of a condition b fine in this case when it will be the rank of a condition b will be one when this number should be zero fine so look at the options so you need to check only because second and third fourth we already accepted that if you take sine of x cos and sine orthogonal property zero the rank one cos and sine is a non-zero so this option is cancelled b c d are my right answer of the problem okay look at this one assume h1 h2 g1 g2 are here consider the following statement if the integral equation has a solution for some f then this number this is zero okay the given equation has a unique solution if lambda is not the characteristic number okay when it will be the unique solution what is the shortcut test for you lambda is not equal to the eigenvalues now look at that lambda is not the characteristic number characteristic number means eigenvalue when lambda is not equal to the characteristic number that means s2 is my correct statement fine so it means b option s2 is false cancel d option is my cancel now look at this another one first option it has a solution means either unique or infinite that means your target is to check the b fine so what is the b is k of t f t what is the k of t in this case function of the t that is function of the t that is uh, this one h1 so that means h1 now uh, they are talking about the g1 h1 of t into f of t fine this should be 0 in order to get a infinite solution and h2 t into f of t it should be 0 but he said f of t into g1 but we need a h1 so that means this option is cancel out with. so the right option is s1 is false s2 is true c option is my correct answer okay look at this another one what is the kernel is cos x cos of t plus sin x sin of t remember that in this case lambda is not equal to 1 over reciprocal because it is not a positive sign it's a negative if it is a positive then you can write as a 1 over half of this anyhow can you write the matrix a it's a very simple again by using the orthogonal property this is the cos square fine what is the property of the cos square is what is the integration of the cos square from 0 to cos square x so how you can integrate them it is half is common 1 plus 
cos 2x integration from 0 to pi by 2 so can you uh, can you integrate them quickly so this number will be pi by 4 similarly for this case it is pi by 4 can you find this k1 because it's a symmetric function so same the values are same k1x k2t k1x is cos x k2t is sin x so what is the integration of this 1 over 2 sin of 2x so integration of the sin 2x will be minus cos 2x from 0 to pi by 2 so that will be minus half i can take an is outside cos of pi minus 1 cos 0 minus 1 so it will be 1 it is also 1 fine now once you know these are the values divided by 2 also sin 2x by 2 so it is half half and half fine now you get the matrix a can you find the eigenvalues so i can write the equation minus sum of them pi by 2 and it's a pi squared by 16 so this pi square by 16 minus 1 over 4 so 16 is lcm pi square minus 4 over 16 so plus pi square minus 4 over 16 fine so can you find the values pi over 2 plus minus b square minus 4 ac so 4 will be cancelled out pi square minus 4 over 4 divided by 2 pi square 4 will be cancelled out it's a 1 so pi over 2 plus minus 1 over 2 so what are the eigenvalues so this has eigenvalues pi over pi plus minus 2 by 4 fine so once a has this eigenvalues so what is the eigenvalues of this system this system has the eigenvalue 4 over 4 over pi plus minus 2 4 over pi plus minus 2 these are the eigenvalues of this given system now a unique solution when so what is the condition for the uniqueness when lambda is not equal to the eigenvalue what are eigenvalues 4 over pi plus minus 2 is this condition satisfied for here he said unique solution for lambda is not equal to only one value but if what will happen if lambda is my here then again we will get as a unique solution but he said unique is a not equal to fine so it means this option is cancelled because the because if this case will happen then you will you will the false option unique solution when this option is again cancelled out fine no solution for equality now remember whenever when what is the case for the no solution or the infinite solution that means when lambda is equal to eigenvalues then we need to calculate the b fine so let's firstly calculate the b so it has the two values fine so first value will be k of t this into f f is my one what is the integration of the cos into f from 0 to pi by 2 so it will be sine of t from 0 to pi over 2 that is my 1 first value will be 1 second number it is a sine of t what is the integration of the sine is minus 1 fine because we all know integration of the sine t is minus cos of t from 0 to pi by 2 so when you substitute pi by 2 is a 0 minus minus plus 1 it is my plus 1 fine so b will be my here then then your system ax is equal to b 1 1 when eigenvalues when lambda is equal to this clearly say the rank of this matrix is my 2 minus 1 that is a 1 because this is the this is the root of this eigenvalue so whenever here and rank of a by b 
this is my 2 and both are not equal we will get as the no solution whenever lambda is pi over 4 over pi minus 2 then or you can calculate it if you if you if you want to calculate I can show for you if this is the eigen value what is the eigen value of the a this is corresponding to pi plus 2 over 4 ok so if I substitute here a minus lambda i what is that it is a minus half plus half plus half minus half into x is my 1 1 so if you add them it is minus half half 0 0 x is my 1 and 2 so clearly say the rank of a is not equal to the rank of a condition b that means no solution so this option is correct now look at the fourth option when you consider this is eigenvalue that is corresponding to pi minus 2 by 4 if i substitute here it's ax is half 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 and half x b is my 1 1 so if you substitute r2 minus r1 0 0 it is my 1 0 so what is the rank of the a and rank of a condition b both are same it means it has infinitely many solution which is not equal to 2 it has infinitely many solution but he said no solution so that's option is cancelled right option is only c is the right option okay look at this another one i can write this in the firstly simplified form phi of x is fx plus lambda 1 to minus 1 cos pi x minus pi t of phi t of dt so can you write the kernel this is cos pi x cos pi t plus sin pi x sin pi t then unique solution no solution and so on so can you write the eigenvalues a limits are from minus 1 to plus 1 first one cos square cos square pi x fine so can you integrate them it will be half of this is 1 plus 1 2 1 Similarly, it's a similar same thing, it's a 1. By the orthogonal property, k1 and k2. By the orthogonal property, it's a 0, orthogonal property, 0. So, the eigenvalues are my 1 and 1. So, this system has eigenvalue, reciprocal of this, 1 and 1. Fine. Now, unique solution for this, unique solution for this and so on. So, what will happen? when lambda is not equal to this you will get as unique solution so that means this option is cancel out because for the no solution you have when eigenvalue is equal to this then either you have the no solution or infinite many solution but he said lambda is not equal to one no solution lambda is equal to one no solution it may be lambda is one infinite many solution may be lambda is equal to 1 not equal to 1 infinite many solution yes whatever the value of the fx because if you calculate the b what is the b is this into fx whatever the b because if lambda is not equal to 1 rank of a will be 2 then what is the rank of the a condition b it is always 2 so you will get as the unique solution fine so the first option is obviously correct even for fx is any function any of the fx now second case third case no solution when lambda is equal to 1 and ok for no solution so let's firstly try for finding the b can you find the value of the b firstly we can take here so for the first case pi of t into t of minus 1 to 1 so can you integrate them you can integrate this by parts 
what will happen so it's a t and it's a cos of pi t i can apply the by parts it's a 1 0 you can remember this shortcut tricks of the integration as i told you in my previous lectures you must watch it it's a pi square this this minus plus so this integration will be t over pi sine of pi t minus minus plus cos pi t divided by pi square from minus 1 to plus 1 so this will be when you substitute 1 it's a 0 when you substitute 1 is a cos pi is a minus 1 over pi square when you substitute minus 1 is a 0 when you substitute minus 1 it is a, again minus 1 1 over pi square this will be 0 or otherwise you can see this is my even function this is my odd function and limits are from minus 1 to 1 is 0. Second b corresponding to this sin of pi t into t. So what is the integration of this? It will be now in this case it is my sin. So it is minus cos and minus sin over pi square. So this will be minus t over pi cos pi t minus minus plus sin pi t. otherwise you can use the by parts there is no issue about that fine so it will be when you substitute 1 it is minus 1 over pi cos of pi is minus 1 it will be 0 when you substitute minus 1 it is 1 over pi of minus 1 so it will again be a 0 it will be minus 1 over pi it's a minus 1 it's a plus 1 or minus it's a minus lower limit is negative so it will be my 2 over pi fine so my b will be so my b is let me write here is for the first component is a 0 second component is 2 over pi now when fx is there no solution so when lambda is equal to 1 what is the rank of this matrix is 1 rank of this matrix or you can write as a matrix if you want what is the ax is b 0 0 0 0 x which is 0 minus 2 over pi clearly say are the rank of a and a by b are same no so once they are not same it means it has a no solution now look at the last case when lambda is equal to 1 and in this case fx they have changed so we need to calculate b again now in this time i have to taken f is my 1 so you have the two integration one is cos of this and second part is sine of this so what is the integration of this from minus 1 to 1 it is sine of 1 to minus 1 is a 0 it will be cos over pi from 1 to minus 1 so minus 1 over pi is outside minus 1 minus minus plus 1 is a 0 fine so when it will be 0 so what what can you say it is a 0 so ax is equal to b b will be my 0 0 a when lambda is equal to 1 a is my 0 0 clearly say rank of a rank of a condition b which is less than 2 so you have the infinitely many okay look at this one now you can see it's a positive sign x plus t so eigenvalues are half of this so plus minus half of this fine 0 to pi so eigenvalues are my here unique solution so when the unique solution when lambda is not equal to eigen value so you can see lambda 1 is not equal to here so this condition satisfied infinitely many solution when lambda is equal to so but when lambda is here it may be no or infinite many solution so 
you need to calculate the b so you need to open them cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so that means integration of cos t into f t cos 2t by the orthogonal property is a zero this one is sin t cos of again by the orthogonal property zero so my system ax is equal to b so b is my zero zero and 2 by pi is the eigen values of this so the rank of a is rank of b so that means it has infinitely many solutions fine now look at the second option unique solution when lambda again because lambda is minus 1 which is not equal to the eigen value so this option is correct when lambda is equal to minus 2 over pi does it satisfied b again when whenever is a minus 2 over pi what is my b b is my fx into kt is a 0 0 so the rank of a because this is my eigen value so once is eigen value so the rank is always less than of that 2 and rank of a condition b is also 0 this is also 0 yes this is satisfied unique solution if lambda is not equal to 2 over pi that's wrong because if lambda is my minus 2 over pi can you get a unique solution no because this is my eigen value when lambda is equal to this then either you have the no solution or infinite so this option is cancelled no solution if lambda is not equal to 2 over pi when lambda is equal to this then no solution if plus minus 2 over pi can you see about that whenever lambda is my 2 over pi what is my b b is my 0 so what is the b is 0 you will get as infinitely many solution but he said no solution so that's option is cancel out right options are a and b are the right answers okay this this is the december 2023 i have to write this in the simplified form fx plus 3 tx yt of here so eigen value is my 3 fine kernel is x comma t that is my type 1 there is no resolvent kernel which of the following choice has admit at least one solution has admit at least one solution that means either the no unique solution or infinitely many solution so can you find the eigen values what is the integration of 0 to 1 k x comma x 0 to 1 x square 1 over 3 so the eigen value is my 3 now since lambda is equal to the eigen values that means you will get either the no solution or infinitely many solution so uniqueness will be cancelled but he admit at least one solution that means infinite many solution that means b should be zero so what is the formula for the b that is a what is the formula for the b is kt into ft should be zero what is a kt function of that t ft we never know so now you can look about the option one by one which satisfied this property fine so if i start from the first so if i substitute here t into t square minus half from 0 to 1 is a t cube 1 by 4 is a 1 by 4 0 so its first property satisfied t cube t cube will be t 4 by 4 minus t square by 4 is a 0 so first property satisfied second one t into 2 minus 3 into t so 2 t square by 2 3 cube by 3 so it is a t square minus t cube from 0 to 1 again it's a 0 satisfied e raised to power x so that means t into e raised to power t 
if you integrate them it is t minus 1 e raised to power t from 0 to 1 when you substitute 1 is a 0 when you substitute minus 1 it is 1 which is non-zero this property cancel out look at the last option when you take x minus 1 t into t minus 1 so t square and t will be t square by 2 from 0 to 1 so clearly say it is a 1 over 3 minus 1 over 2 which is non-zero so the right answers are a and c are the correct you can scan and join my whatsapp group if you are interested to hear i hope you can simply subscribe comment and like on my video you can subscribe my youtube channel for more updated videos we will come up with the next lecture on how you can find the resolvent kernels of this degenerate case series. till then you can simply like share and comment on my video best of luck students happy learning